The other thing is, this nervousness, to turn it into a positive, the other thing you can do is simply not just acknowledge it and say thank you to it, but just acknowledge that it's there, accept it, and move on. If you've ever read any um, Eckhart Tolle, anyone read this guy, Eckhart Tolle? Yeah? Right. It's not for everybody, but if you read New Earth, if you read um, you know, The Power of Now, one of the things that's covered on is accepting things in the moment. Because once you've accepted something, you can't continue to, to get to you. You know, um, in 2006, uh, a fight started uh, right next to me. And five guys were, you know, jumping on one guy. And I got in there, and I got him out of there. I said, go. And those five guys jumped on me. And they played a nice little game of soccer with my head. I just stamped on my head. And I lost the use of my left eye. And that could have been a very traumatic moment. And it was certainly painful. But it was, and I kid you not, it was the single most perfect moment in my life. It was the most beautiful and rewarding moment in my life. Because in that moment, where I'm near death, getting kicks raining down on my head, I was the most alive because I was the most wanting of my life. I was the most eager to have my life. That moment reminded me of how special my life was. Now, you've all had these moments. They might not be so dramatic. They might be more dramatic. But the point is, you have had these moments, and they have come at you. And they'll present themselves to you. And when they do, they are not negative. I want you to find the positive in them and learn from them. Because for me, I'll tell you what this, this thing gave me. First of all, I thought, wow, I've got a lot to live for here. You know, I thought of my son. He's now eight years old. It's like, wow, that's, that's worth living for. I thought of, uh, I thought of my, my, my mother, you know. The memory of my grandfather, if I, if I wasn't there to, uh, to continue sort of his, almost like, you know, uh, live for him, it, wouldn't, it would be wasted. It wasn't about me. It was about things that were important to me. Um, and whatever happens to you, anything that's positive or negative, um, it's like right or wrong. You know, an opportunity and a crisis, the Chinese say it's the same thing. The, the word is the same for crisis and opportunity. Was it a crisis when I was on the floor getting my head kicked in? Yeah, for some people. For me, it wasn't. It was an awakening. And uh, without any bullshit false modesty, that made me, that moment, it, it made me, it defined me. It helped me realize that whatever I did after that was going to be worth doing. And I thank, I, I actually deactivated that. I forgave those people as they were doing it. In court, when three of them went to jail, I let them off on the lighter sentence so they could only go to jail for two and a half years rather than a minimum of five because it's one down from attempted murder. And I did that for me because I forgave them. I didn't see what more time in prison would do for them. I wanted to let them know that it was important for me. You know? It worked. The point is, it allowed me to go traveling. It allowed me to quit my job. It allowed me to explore myself. It allowed me to take hold of my life and reevaluate it and look at it again to, um, what's the word? Uh, to, re to recognize it. Recognize means uh, to recognize, literally to know it again. And I saw my life as I knew it all over again in a different way. And it was beautiful. So whatever happens to you in a challenge, don't look at it as something that's attacking you. Accept it and move past it. If, you are, if your biggest problem is that you are, you're feeling slightly nervous when you see a woman, that's a high quality problem. That's a very lucky thing to have.